That feeling of nature and tranquility hits one almost immediately as Arusha National Park opens its arms to welcome tourists and visitors to savor the vast wildlife it boasts. With close proximity to Moshi and Arusha towns, it's an ideal day trip destination for visitors attending seminars, workshops and conducting business around the area. Though only reachable by road, it is only about 32 kilometers away from Arusha town and 40 kilometers from Kilimanjaro International Airport. Unlike other national parks in Tanzania, visitors here are treated to a host of wildlife and different habitats within a short time. Game drives are a popular tourist activity here, allowing all to enjoy the beautiful ambiance from the comfort of their vehicles. The two main game drive circuits are around Momela Lakes and Gurudoto Crater, with several smaller game drive circuits that either join the main circuits or take visitors into varying habitats with different attractions. Navigation through the vast park for self-drive visitors is aided by the many signposts strategically designed and located at junctions. The story of Arusha National Park dates back to 1876 when the Count Teleki, a Hungarian, visited the Momela area and commented on the large number of hippos and rhinos he saw. In 1907, the Trapp family moved to Momela to farm using large areas of the present park as a cattle ranch. Mrs. Trapp, the first woman to become a professional hunter in East Africa, voluntarily set aside a large part of the Momela estate for a game sanctuary. When the park was established in 1960, the farm was incorporated into it. The park is open to the public throughout the year, though the most comfortable weather is between June and February, with short rains falling in November. A game drive of the park affords one the pleasure of seeing the huge number of attractions in the natural habitats. First is Serengeti Ndogo. The name, which means the Little Serengeti, describes the open grassland a place in the park where various animals in large numbers can be easily seen. These include buffaloes, warthogs, zebras, waterbucks, and giraffes. There is also the Ngurudoto Museum, a sanctuary in the park where stuffed and mounted mammals, birds, and insects are found. The building overlooks the Ngurudoto Natural Forest, which is the home of the black and white colobus monkey. The Gurudoto forest offers a large variety of tree species. For identification purposes, labels have been attached to some dominant tree species. There was once a Gurudoto volcano that became extinct, leaving behind a pearl-shaped depression that is the present-day Gurudoto crater like a mini Ngorongoro, the crater rim comprises of five viewing points. The departure of the volcano created a vantage point from which the snowy peak of Mount Kilimanjaro, Momela Lakes and agricultural settlements can be viewed. The damp misty atmosphere here creates a conducive environment for moss, ferns, orchids and lichens. Inside the crater, wild animals can be seen going about their daily business, notably the huge groups of resident buffaloes. Arusha National Park is home to different aquatic lifestyles as well. Large Longhill is the only freshwater lake in the park where fish like tilapia are found. Buffalo and waterbucks create time to spend around the lake as well. The Momela lakes, which are not very deep, are largely fed from underground streams. They are alkaline, which makes the water salty, so animals do not drink from them. Migratory birds 
Hovering around these lakes are a sight too common, a haven for ardent bird watchers. With every forward step made, the imposing Tululucia Hill comes into better view. Its peak looking down as one moves closer. Tululucia means lookout point. This viewpoint provides an excellent view of the lower areas of Arusha National Park, Mount Meru, and the majestic Kilimanjaro. The trail around Tululucia Hill has several excellent campsites in the dense forest, one that gives visitors an intimate view of animals like elephants, buffaloes, colobus monkeys, red duckers, sunnis, leopards, and pythons. The fig tree art is another striking feature of the park. This tree was formed when seeds of this fig were dropped by foraging birds in the fork of a host tree. When germination took place, an eventual growth came to the area roots, which slowly reached the ground and strangled the host tree, resulting in its eventual death. It left behind the fig tree, a distinctive art that is large enough for a car to drive through. In recent years, there has been growing demand for walking safaris within Arusha National Park. The literal translation is nature's afoot and is a break from the usual tradition of viewing nature while confined to a van. Hiking here brings with it a host of attractions like the Ngarenanyuki River or Ngare Nanyukie. Ngarenanyuki is a Maasai word for brown or tea-colored water, with the source of the Ngarenanyuki River being the Meru Crater. The Uwanja Ambogo or Buffalo's Glade is another attraction that hikers here have a chance to experience. This open area is a natural glade consisting of marshes, bushes and streams and it attracts animals such as buffaloes, warthogs and giraffes. The first two species spend their days grazing, resting and wallowing in the present mud holes. A move away from the buffaloes and warthogs brings you face to face with the breathtaking to Lulucia waterfall. This waterfall is approximately 28 meters high. Because the volcanic material here is soft, the land is a constant victim of erosion by the waterfall which leaves behind a gorge. The steep gorge walls provide nesting sites for red-winged starlings. This is a great location for visitors to cool off after the long hike and take spectacular photos of this natural environment. There is also the lower mountain forest which is rich in species diversity and can be explored around the public campsites 1 and 2 to the Itikoni Special Campsite. The most prominent tree species in this forest are wild figs, African olives, East African yellow woods, and African pencil cedars. Other unique attractions are troops of black and white colobus monkeys that are often seen feeding on tree leaves. Unique among the primates, colobus monkeys have given up on their omnivorous habits and live entirely as vegetarians. They have evolved complex digestive systems along the way to deal with the high fiber diet of leaves. Their croaking call of hor, hor, hor can be heard through the forest before a flash of black and white fur advertises their presence completely. One of the most beautiful birds in the forest is the Hartelobes turaco, which is a white patch above and in front of its eyes, a dark bluish crest and its purplish black with striking crimson wings. It draws attention to itself by its loud croaking call, similar to that of the colobus monkey. Other common birds are the silvery-cheeked hornbills, mountain greenbulls, stone chats, olive pigeons, bar-tailed trogons, and the olive thrushes. The Kitoto Camp and Viewpoint is a wide open space that overlooks the forest and gives a spectacular view of the Momela Lakes and plain beyond the Mount Kilimanjaro. In this area, vegetation has become open heathland characterized by the green bush, grey bush and St. John's wort, a shrub that has bright yellow flowers and red hot pokers, with a yellow to flame red flower belonging to the lily family. There is also a platform located at a high point overlooking the waterfall in the gorge of the Ngarananyuki River.
This trail continues to open floor of the Meru Crater. Rising up like a clawing talons within the crater wall in the ash cone. Here, visitors also get an exquisite view of the Mount Meru cliff face. This is one of the highest cliff faces in the world, 2,000 meters from the crater floor. Soaring on updrafts from the crater, visitors might be lucky enough to catch the sight of the rare bearded vulture, La Mergea, with its narrow angled wings diamond-shaped tail and rustic buff neck and underparts. Mountain climbing is another of those activities most visitors here look forward to. Mount Meru is Sub-Saharan Africa's third highest mountain. Mount Meru comprises two peaks, Big Meru, 4,566 meters above mean sea level and Lito Meru, 3,820 meters above mean sea level. The crater floor is 2,400 meters above mean sea level with the ash cone rising from the floor is 3,667 meters above mean sea level. At about 2,300 meters, the higher mountain forest begins. Common trees are junipers and podos. The common beautiful wildflowers are the emptiest species, red-hot pokers, orchids, fireball lilies, and gladiolus. This way, please. Canoeing safaris are another tourist activity on offer at the Arusha National Park on small Momela, which is one of the seven Momela lakes. Canoeing safaris in Arusha National Park have enabled visitors to experience aspects of nature that are inaccessible during game drives and walking safaris. While canoeing on small Mamela Lake, visitors have a welcome chance to get up close with animals such as hippopotamus, buffaloes, bushbucks, waterbucks, boho reedbucks, as well as the occasional elephant emerging from vegetation around the lake. Green Footprints Adventure Limited, a tour company based in Arusha, exclusively offers unforgettable canoeing safaris at the park. Another great way to enjoy your out-of-the-world tour here is through horse riding. Horse riding safaris give visitors the ultimate feeling of being in the wild without being confined to a vehicle. The amazing experience is a first of its own kind in Tanzania as it provides yet another unique experience that differs from traditional game watching. The Makoa Farm has exclusive access to this type of tours in the park, enabling them to offer riding safaris within the park boundaries done on different scheduled rides with set dates. Of the several primates found in this park, the black and white colobus monkey is the most beautiful. Its fur is very distinct glassy black with a long white mantle on the sides of the body and a white beard that surrounds the face. In the Arusha National Park, colobus monkeys are found in the montane forest on the rim of the Ngurudoto crater. As well as in the montane forest areas of Mount Meru, they live in limited well-defined territories. These social animals are agile and arboreal. They spend most of their time high up in the treetops where they are extremely camouflaged. Arusha National Park is the ideal place where one can see this beautiful animal in its natural habitat. A lot has changed since Count Teleki visited this area for the first time and prompted the need for it to become an attraction site. With each new day come new visitors, new developments, new things to see and definitely new hopes for the future. With the many people that visit, there are new interactions and get-togethers on a daily basis, making Arusha National Park a zone for lifelong memories. Here, happy moments come calling every day.